There's a lot of different things that happens about the Cleveland Browns, the game with the Steelers, the fight with Miles Garrett. And a lot of people have different opinions about the fight. In the next video, I'm going to talk about kind of where Miles Garrett goes from here. But right now, what I want to discuss is, have you ever been around a big lake? You see somebody takes up a big rock and they just throw it into the water. You see the initial rock goes in, hits the water and goes down. But then comes the ripples and ripples and ripples and ripples. In other words, it creates a bigger splash than anyone thinks. Because the Browns right now, while they go to play Miami this week, instead of going in feeling great about themselves for beating the Steelers, and that's going to be probably Freddie Kitchen's job, try to say, look guys, we've beat the Steelers and we beat the Ravens. We're good enough to beat anybody. Of course, they've also lost to Denver and they're sort of good enough or bad enough to lose to anybody also. But you, you have to get them past that. And yet another challenge for rookie head coach Freddie Kitchens, and I know I often call him a rookie, well one, because he is, and two, in my mind, he really hasn't gotten over some of the challenges put before him, some of those ripples that come out when things hit, to kind of get to the veteran side of the shore. So, he'll be facing Miami, not a very good team, but he won't have Miles Garrett, he probably won't have Larry Ogunjobi. Um, he doesn't have a very good defensive line right now. They're running out of guys. But he also has Baker Mayfield in the last three games who has not thrown an interception, starting to look more like Baker Mayfield. Thank goodness they got the Antonio Callaway out of there. It only took 14,000 uh, suspensions and failed drug tests for that to happen. Okay, it wasn't that many, but it was far more than one. And so they can go to receivers you can count on. It took, fortunately, and we hope Kareem Hunt continues to do the right things. Because you can see with Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb in the backfield, that has changed the dynamic of the offense. That's part of the reason Baker doesn't have those interceptions. Because when he's in trouble, he just dumps the ball off to Kareem Hunt. Next thing you know, you got a 5 to 10 yard gain with him. And then finally, this team should begin to be getting some confidence. Buffalo's a pretty good team. They beat them, 1916. The Steelers are a pretty good team. They beat them 21-7. Everybody's feeling great till the last eight seconds. And early in the year, it's still one of the stunners of the season. The Browns 40, Baltimore 25, a game that wasn't even that close. I'm not saying turn all those frowns upside down. I'm saying the team on the field, it just again, it shows the talent is there. Is the mental discipline there? Is the coaching there? The preparation there? We'll have to find out. And even though Miami isn't all that good, that's a good test coming up on Sunday to see mentally where this team is right now.